So a couple days ago, you guys know that I listened to Morset Amon for the first time. I noticed a lot of you call her Mori in the comments. Am I pronouncing it right, Mori? Because I think that's right. M-O-R-I. I like that too. I mean, that's sweet. But here's the thing. So a couple days ago, I did that video. You guys have been so nice with the comments and kind of steering me in the right direction of what you want to see next. I get a D I get a DM on Twitter from Braid Whip and it was talking about, you know, the video and talking about Maury and, and it kind of like her connection with that performance. And she's Filipino. And it was a really, uh, it was, it was a really sweet message. And she told me that she would just love it if I could do another live performance that she did on the wish bus, which I've been so now made aware of that that's a bus. It moves. I didn't know that. I yeah, I just didn't know. That's why the cars were moving. Somebody made that comment. I see you. I appreciate it. Uh, but she was saying if you could do the and I, again, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it's Aiken Kanaleng. Okay. She said, Can you do this performance that's on the 107.5 wish bus? And I was like, you know what? Because it was such a sweet message. And I, I don't know why. I just felt like really connected to it. I said, you know what? I'm doing I'm doing that performance next because I don't know, man. It just, it just touched me. And that's, that's the, I mean, the main reason why I do this is for this, it's really for two reasons. I love hearing new music. If you've been following me for a long time, you know, I like to go down rabbit holes of stuff I don't know. And then if I like that artist, I just keep going. There's been some, I didn't like as much, but this is definitely one of those where I want to go down the rabbit hole and I want to see everything. I want to learn the backstory, these type of things. This is how I felt with BTS and Harry Styles. And now I'm doing Taylor Swift. I, did, I didn't know their music, but now I'm like totally a fan. This is what's happening now with Maury and Marcelito Pomoy. This is kind of what I feel like. So that's where my mind goes. Second thing is I like the interaction. I like going back and forth with nice people, with like-minded people that love music, that like being courteous to each other and being nice to each other. I love corresponding with you guys so that's why i do this it's not really for subs and likes and all that kind of stuff i mean i guess this is a channel and i guess that's what it's supposed to be here for so i'm really here for the other stuff so quick backstory on me is you know soundvapors.com that's my website i'm the editor i'm head honcho i'm numero uno okay so that's my site that keeps me extremely busy doing that because i interview rock stars from all over all month that's what i do i have the podcast i have sound vapors uh, and on top of that, I have my own music career. I just launched a record in September. It's the biggest selling record I've ever had. So I have my own stuff going on. So this YouTube thing was never supposed to be this. This is not what I'm building. But I appreciate every single one of you that subscribes or likes or leaves a comment or whatever. I just want you to know that. The other side of it, I noticed a lot of Mori fans and, and Pomoy fans have been coming over to Twitter and Instagram. So if you want to join me on there, we have a lot of fun. I do a lot of interactive stuff on those socials, especially on Twitter. I do live streams. I do live tweets. I like to answer questions, all that kind of stuff. So if you care to join me, T-O-M-M-Y-M-A-R-Z-B-A-N-D, Tommy Mars Band, that's me. That's my Twitter and my Instagram. Come over and say hello. I'd love to meet you. All right, let's get to this today. I'm really excited about this. Ever since I heard Morissette for the first time a couple days ago, I'll be honest, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about her and I've been thinking about her face that when she's singing those songs, there's so much emotion and I, I just can't get out of my head. So I'm really excited to get back here. So let's go to it. This is Aiken Kanaling. I don't know if I said that right and I apologize if I butchered it too bad, but let's go. Let's hear this. Oh, there's the bus. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, so many people gathered. She looks amazing. That shirt's amazing. Her hair's amazing, everything. What a gorgeous tone to her voice, my goodness. right there. Mm, mm. Those little screeches, I love them.
Oh, those puns. It almost feels like she's smiling at you. Like, I feel like she smiled at me. <laughs> Do you feel like that too? That's live. Oh my gosh. I just got the biggest goosebumps. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Friends. I have so many things I wanted to say when she was doing it, but I just didn't want to stop. I mean, that I, I just don't want to stop because it's like that momentum that I feel right there. I don't want it to end. That is amazing. I have so many, I'm, I'm trying to even recall everything I wanted to say. One thing is, I think that stands out for me about her is that she has some of the best control I've ever heard of. And I've ever heard in my life. Okay. Been around singers most of my life. And it's, I, I, I'm, I, I, in the last video, I talked about chest voice and head voice. I don't want to get into that here. You know what I want to talk about is this, this control, mad control. I have said in the past that people that vibrato, they tend to beat you down with it. Hey, I can vibrato and they just keep beating you down with that. She doesn't have to do it. A, because she has a great tone to her voice. The tone is something that you really can't teach. You have good tone or you don't have good tone. It's like, a, it's like some things you're just born with, right? She's just born with that tone. It's amazing tone. Right at, right at the beginning of the performance, I was mentioning she was a little low register and then she goes up a little bit to like what I'll call that medium tone, which I feel like is really in the pocket for her, which is just so, so great. I could just listen to that 24-7. It's the perfect tone to me. So that's the first thing. She doesn't need the vibrato all the time because she has the great tone with it. But then when she wants to flex, she flexes, she vibratos, and it's one of the best things I've ever heard because it's not a same wave of vibrato, if that makes sense. So like, you know, you're think of it this way. She doesn't, she's this, and then she's fast and then she's slow and then she's fast. And I'm trying to wiggle to give you that, that, that visual that I'm, I'm kind of feel like I'm seeing in my head. So I hope that makes sense. She has such control over it, but then she'll go out of it and she'll stay straight. Then she'll go straight. And then she does these little wiggles. Okay. So that's the first thing. Second thing is she did a movement where she, she went up, she did that note and then she wiggled, but instead of going up that, I think it was the second time she, she dropped down really quick. Do you know how hard that is to drop down? And then she just didn't go back where she was. She went up, she shot up. It's amazing. It's amazing. Just that is amazing. Okay. The next thing is she went up into that. You talk about a head voice. She didn't just go. She stayed there. And then I guess you would say, if I was going to call that something, I would call it the Mariah Carey voice. 
people in the business would call that a high C. That's what we'd call that, right? So whatever that note is, I'm just using that as a reference point. That is amazing. Now, it's amazing to get there, but she just didn't get there, did she? She went up there, she stayed there, and then she had movement when she was up in that register. She moved it. Then she vibratoed it. And then she had it come around in the circle. It's, it's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. The next thing is, I'm trying to remember everything is, at the end, when she was bringing it home, how did she keep singing? Her lungs have to be the size of like elephant lungs. I mean, that, it, that takes so much energy, so much breath, so much power, so much everything you have from your core to do that once. She kept doing it note after note, phrase after phrase. I've seen these performances. The last performance, I was really blown away. You guys know I was blown away by the Marcelito Pomoy performance. Same thing. How does he do it? I'm going to tell you something. That what I just saw right there, I'm not going to lie to you. I got a little emotional behind these glasses. I got goosebumps. It wasn't just chills. The hairs were standing up on my arms and the back of my neck. That was one of the most amazing live vocals I've ever heard. Like I said it on there. I was like, this can't be live. How is she doing this? So I'm going to say this right now. Before I get out of here, I'm going to say this right now. I've only heard her sing two songs. Owning soundvapors.com, I get passed to me thousands of records. Record companies, labels, managers, publicists, bands, people send me records all month long. As we're doing, as I'm filming this, I probably got 10 records in my email box that are sent to me before they come out. And I'm going to tell you something. Right now, as it is, Maury, she's in my top five female vocalists of all time right now. Call me crazy. I know you're going to say, Tommy, really? Yes, I'm telling you right now. That performs what I just watched right there. I have my favorites. It'll be hard to top them, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mount Rushmore stuff for me. I'm talking about Whitney Houston. You know, I'm, I'm talking about Donna Summer. Other people are going to have people like Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, those type of people, and they should all be there. Dolly Parton's another great example of a great voice. Then you could get into opera singers and all these other things. And I get that. I get that. Everybody's got their preferences. But I'm telling you right now, she's top five best voice I've ever heard. I'm in shock. And could it change as we go down the line further down this rabbit hole? Yeah, I guess it could. I suppose it could. But I'm telling you right now, that's one of the most amazing things I've ever heard. If that got sent to me at Sound Vapors, and I didn't even know who it was because I try to listen to everything that comes my way. Yeah, that's that's not a pass. That's a go, go, go. That's what that is. So here's my question of the video. I'm going to put a pin comment on that pin comment. And I know I didn't do it on this one because I got that special DM I told you at the beginning of the of this episode. On that pin comment, I need you to link me to the next Mori video that you guys want me to watch with you. In that pin comment, whatever gets the most... Okay, so put the name of the song and then the link and whatever gets the most, that's the one I'm going to do. That's the one. Whatever one is the most in the pinned comment, that's what I'm going to do. If you want to tweet at me, okay, and if you want to tweet at me, T-O-M-M-Y-M-A-R-Z-B-A-N-D on Twitter, I will count those votes too. So if you want to tweet to me the link of the song that you want me to do next, I will count that as a vote too, okay? All right, man, we're good. I'm out. It's Tommy Mars. I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys stay safe and healthy.